Well, I've been fine. I'm retired, so I just have a very relaxed and pleasant life. Nice. That's good to hear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where are I you guess... sitting in the US? Are you in the West Coast or? I'm in Colombia. Colombia, oh. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I grew up on the East Coast. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. so, yeah. Uh huh. So it's um, uh, 12 o'clock, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning for you? 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. 8 o'clock here. <laughs> okay. 8. Yeah. Do you have any plans for the rest of your night? Yeah, not really. Just uh, reading a bit. That's all. Nice. Maybe watching a bit of television. It sounds like a really good plan, actually. Yeah. Um, all right. Judith, uh, welcome to class. How's it going? Judith? Uh, all right. Uh, We've also got Juanma. Juanma, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thanks. And you? Doing really well, thanks for asking. And Juanma, what have you been up to today? What have you been doing? I have been resting at home because uh, I have a pain on my back. And mm. I'm resting, lying on the sofa, you know. Okay. Okay, what do you do when you lie on the sofa? Do you like to watch TV or do you like to read or do you like to just take classes? I've been uh, watching series uh, uh, in English uh, to learn, and nice. now I'm joining some classes here on Berlin. Awesome. That's a good way to do it. What series? Sorry? What series do you oh, watch? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, I, I got it. Uh, uh, Breaking Bad, do you know? Mm-hmm. Nice. I have download uh, in in how I don't know how do you say original version maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, for oh. sure. I I was laughing at Julieta's comment. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, I have yeah. downloaded on in original version, um, but I have to watch it with subtitles in English. Subtitles. Subtitles. Sorry. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure who's this is. Somebody's making a lot of noise. Um, so if you guys could just mute yourselves when you're not speaking. Maybe it was Natasha. Um, yeah, nice one. And Judetha, is your PC still being an idiot? Yes. Oh, no. Hopeless. Yes. It's hopeless. That's not good. My PC was not cooperating with me earlier, although it seems to be doing better. Uh, how's it going? Just going well, thanks. Okay. And what have you been up to today? Oh, today it was so cold that uh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Um, so, like, what does nothing consist of? Is, like, nothing actually nothing? Just vacant staring? <laughs> um, I do the laundry. <laughs> okay. I did the laundry. Uh, and I read. Nice. Are you you're still in the tempest? Yes. Nice. Now you... I can I can get it. It was yeah. really difficult because Prospero is a strange guy. Prospero is a really strange guy. Yeah. Yeah. Prospero and Galilan. Um It's an interesting one though. I like that play. I I love the, how they. Curse each other. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, it is hilarious. Yeah, it's a funny one too. I like the I like that one. Um, all right, nice. And who else do we have? Ken, how's it going? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Nice. Doing really well. Thanks for asking. How was your day, Ken? Uh, yeah, I I was checking Twitter uh before the class and I found uh Libras Cuomo followed me. Who? Libras Cuomo, uh, Wizard's vocalist. Which vocalist? Uh, Wizards. The Wizards? Yes. Libras uh, Cuomo. Okay, I'm not sure who he is. That's cool, uh, though. Yeah, kind of 
kind of band called Wizards, maybe. Wizards or Wizard? I, I'm not sure how to speak it. Weezer. Weezer. Weezer, yeah. Sweet, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's <laughs> impressive. Cool. Um, yeah. And, all right, nice. And did we have Igor? Igor, how's it going? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Hello. Nice. And how's your day going? Oh, it, it was cold because of okay. autumn. Yeah. What was the temperature? Uh, about 10 Celsius. 10 degrees Celsius is pretty cold. Uh, yeah. All right. And what did you do today? Uh, I worked. Okay. Do you have any plans outside of work? What else? Did you do anything else? Uh, I went home. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, sorry. It's my neighbor. No worries. It sounds like a chainsaw. Uh, it's drill, I guess. Oh, okay. Hmm. What's your neighbor drilling? I don't know. It's up. <laughs> Okay. Upstairs? Your upstairs neighbor? No. I, I live in an apartment. Uh-huh. And I don't even know him. Ah, okay. So he's unknown. I right. I can I can't say stop drilling, so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's that's true. Um all right. Well it's nice to meet you. Igor, have I had you in class before? What? Have I had you in class before? Uh, no, uh, our first time. Okay. Well, That's welcome Verblink. to class. It's nice to meet you and welcome to Verblink. Um, uh, where nice are you to from? Meet you too. I'm nice. from Moscow, Russia. All right, nice. Uh, okay, yeah, and like I said, nice to meet you. Okay. Natasha, welcome. How's it going with you? Hello, good to see you. You too. Um, and Natasha, what have you been up to today? Uh, I have had a nice day today. Uh, I started my full time work, and um, um, recently, in this day, I I am a little bit tired because it was really a lot of work today. Mm, okay. Um, well, being tired is not the worst thing, especially when the day's over. Get to rest a little bit. Long days are tough, though. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, nice to see you again. And Yasser, thanks. Yes, Yasser. Hello. How's it going? Fine, alhamdulillah. How are you? Doing well, thanks for asking. Um, yeah. Yasser, have I had you in class before? No. Only okay. the first, uh, first time. But the okay. uh, teacher does uh, my uh, language not strong. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. Um, <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Oman. Rwan. One more time? Oman. 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 Okay, oh, nice. I yeah. think you're my first student from Oman. Um, yeah, nice. oh, sure. <laughs> Okay. What do you do for fun? What do you like to do? Uh, I like to uh, go to uh, work. Okay, I'm going to the work and uh, exercise, uh, running and uh, swimming. Uh, okay. And uh, and uh, sometimes that uh, go to the gym. Okay. So running, swimming, yeah. exercising, going to the gym. Yeah. Definitely all good things. Yeah. Very active. Sport. Sports. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We might even say exercise, because like going to the gym exercise. isn't isn't necessarily sport. Yeah. I like exercise, which includes sports. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Good to meet you. And we've also got Sandra. Sandra, I muted your microphone. Are you there, Sandra? Yes, I am. Hi. Hi. Um. So there seems to be an echo. You don't have headphones. Do you? No. So like, even something like these? No, I don't have. 
Nothing? No, nothing. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Try to mute your microphone when you're not speaking. It's just, yeah, okay. there's a, a lot of echo. Um, where are you from, Sandra? Um, I am from Colombia. Nice. Where in Colombia? Yes. <laughs> where um, in Col Bogota. Nice. That's where I am right now. <laughs> yes? Yeah. No. Nice. <laughs> okay. And what do you do for fun, Sandra? Sorry? What do you like to do? What do you do for fun? Oh, oh okay. I I like uh, to sing. I like uh, to read. I like to, uh, with my friends, uh, to eat um, uh, in a restaurant or I don't know. Okay. Yes. I good. think uh, cinema. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you and welcome to the class. Um, and yeah, just do remember to mute that microphone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but good. Let's get started with today's class. And let's start with Niels. Can you read the title in the next lines? Yes, education. Today we will read quotations about education. Learn educational idioms, idioms, read comics, and practice role plays. Nice. Good correction with idioms. Um, and nice. Let's go on. Niels, can you ask Natasha the first question? Natasha, what's your favorite memory from your time in school? Wow, I don't know really. Maybe uh, I I really like uh, my um, uh, school time uh, at all uh, because I like to uh, go to school. I liked my teachers, uh, school subjects, uh, and uh, I really uh, wanted uh, to continue my education in high school. Uh, so uh, yes, I I was a good uh, school matter and uh, I have ha I had re really a lot of good friends. I liked those times. Well, that's nice to hear. Who was your favorite teacher in school and why? Uh, let's pause for now. Oh, yeah, um, right. <laughs> thank you, Onia. Uh, I really like past tense. Liked. 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 Um, yeah. And then, at all is negative. So we could say, oh, no, no. I didn't like it at all. But oh, I okay. liked all Very of my time. <laughs> yeah. OK, all of my time. Thanks. All of my time in school. Um, I like to go to school. I like my teachers, the school subjects. I really wanted to continue my education in high school. I had a. I had really a lot of good friends. Where would we put really here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe without really, yes. I had a lot of good friends in my school time. You could say that. Um, you could also say I really had. I really had a lot of uh, good friends. OK. OK, I really had. OK, I see. I like those times. All right. Natasha, can you ask Juanma the next question? Uh, okay. Who was your favorite teacher in school and why? Well, my favorite teacher in school was a man called Jose. Uh, he always uh, took us uh, for a journey uh, to other cities um, and, for example, to the zoo and to learn about nature to the countryside, so I I I liked that teacher very much because he made uh, our days uh, fun and and very happy. Nice and very happy. That is the best kind of teacher. Teacher makes your day fun and very happy. Um, Nice. Do you know if he's still teaching? I don't know. Okay. Okay. And good. 
Maybe, Juanma, can you ask Julieta the same question about the favorite teacher? The same. Yeah, the same question. Yeah, sure. So, Julieta, who was your favorite teacher in school and why? One of my favorite school teacher in school was the, um, the teacher of John. John? Uh, drone. Drawing. Drawing, yeah. Okay. Picture of drawing. How would you say that in a different way? Mm. Removing of. If you wanted to remove of. Drawing teacher? Mm hmm. Drawing teacher. Drawing teacher. Yeah, you could also say like my art teacher. Oh, my art teacher. Yeah. Why? Mm, because for me it was an easy class. <laughs> mm, and uh, because the, my teacher really knew everything. And he was a really calm person. Okay. He knew everything, he's a really calm person. Definitely good. Did he know everything about art, or did he know like everything in like the about audition? art? Okay, nice. Uh, right. And yeah, that's a good reason. And Julieta, can you ask Ken the next question? Ken, did you procrastinate studying? Did you ever pull an all an all nighter? Yes, I always procrastinate study. And before the test exam day, I sometimes I often uh, pulled an all-nighter. Not full all-nighter, but, but I slept three hours or so. Mm -hmm. And the midnight oil. Burn the midnight oil. <laughs> Good. Um, <clears throat> Maybe before tests, just generally, okay. because often, before tests, I often pulled all-nighters. Mm -hmm. Maybe, and then again, because it's generally not full all-nighters, but it's up three hours or so. Not, uh, it, it's not a full all-nighter. Because we're talking about more than one all-nighter. We'd say not full all nighters. Like I'd never pulled full all nighters, but you know, I slept three hours or so. So it was like a partial all nighter, I guess. Or you pulled partial all nighters. Mm -hmm. All right, really well done. And does anybody have any questions on this page? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Good. And. Let's go to the next one. And Igor, can you read the title and the words? Okay, vocabulary. Uh, define these words or use them in sentences. Should I read them? Please. Uh, accessible, classroom management, collaborative, Common sense. Uh, uh, I have a problem with this next word. <laughs> it's a hard one. Does anybody know how to pronounce this one? Pedagogy. Yeah, pedagogy. Pedagogy. Uh, course. Uh, and uh, this one. <laughs> anybody? Curriculum. Mm hmm. Curriculum. Um, gifted uh, literacy. Good. Let's look at classroom management. Classroom management. Classroom management. Mm -hmm. Collaborative. Collaborative. 
Good. Collaborative. Uh, pedagogy? Pedagogy. Uh, course? Course. Curriculum? Curriculum. Good. And, yeah, that sounded good. Questions about these words. Who has questions? Uh, okay. <laughs> what does curriculum mean? Okay. Who knows? What's a curriculum? What is, if you have a subject, say a method, what is, does it contain? Is it about geometry or algebra? So it's, what's the subject contained in the main subject you have? Yeah. Yeah, so the subject that is in the same thing um, in, the, in the subject, like the topics. Can anybody be a little bit more specific? Maybe, uh, how can I say, the content of teaching? Or schedule of teaching. Teaching. Yeah, kind of like the schedule. Um, yeah, so it's like the the courses, um, but also if you've got like a teaching curriculum, it's like kind of the schedule of what you teach. Um, but it could also be like the the sum of the courses. Um, yeah, and. Hopefully that makes sense. Any other questions? Can I call it syllabus? Yeah, the syllabus is pretty much the curriculum. The syllabus. Um, the curriculum could also be a little bit more broad. So the schedule of what you teach being the syllabus is a little bit more accurate. The curriculum is like the courses that are offered at a, at a school could be the curriculum. Um, yeah. And any other questions? No? Uh, what about Igor? Can you make a sentence with um, collaborative? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I had a collaborative workout with my classmate. Okay, had, I hate. I had. Hate? Not, not hate, had. 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 A collaborative workout with my classmate. Work out with my classmates. Okay. When we work out, work out, it's more athletics. Um, so we go to the gym to work out. All right. Is that what you're talking about? Are you talking about, like, working out physically? Uh, actually, I mean uh, homework. Okay. So... I had collaborative work, maybe okay. to do with my classmate. Yeah, yeah. We had to work together. Had collaborative work. Good. So yeah, just remember, workout is like going to the gym. I led you guys wrong. It's pedagogy, by the way, not pedagogy. Pedagogy. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. And so, if there are no other questions, let's move on. I have another question. Perfect. Literacy? literacy? Okay. Mm -hmm. Who knows what literacy means? Any ideas? The ability to read. Yeah. Write. <laughs> read and write. Make sense, Julieta? Yes. Good. Yeah. And. Yeah, perfect. And so I think we're good. Let's go to the next page. Let's have Igor. Can you ask, S well, Sarah, welcome to class. Sarah, how are you? Thank you, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. And what about you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. It's nice to meet you. Sarah, where are you from? I came from Italy, but I'm currently living in London. I'm living in London. Nice. How do you like London? What? 
Do you like London? Uh, I didn't understand, teacher. I'm sorry. Do you like London? Ah, I'm here from three days, so I have to discover. Okay. I've only been here for three days. I only been here for three days, so I have to discover. Yeah, nice. Yes, this. Thank you. Good. Um, all right, and let's have Igor. Can you ask Sandra the first question? Yeah, sure. Uh, Sarah, what are the skills that separate good start students from bad students? Students, uh, sorry. Students. Uh, bad students. Students don't study. And good students. Uh, uh. Ooh, um, Sandra, are you there? What happened? Okay. Sandra so, or Sarah? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Sarah, I guess go ahead and continue. Are you there? Mm -hmm, I'm here. So, okay. bad students don't study, and good students know that they have to study. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Yeah. Igor. Really good correction with students. Um, and Thank you. Yeah, Sandra, uh, what do you think? What else separates good students from bad students? <laughs> okay, um, I think um, the good uh, students uh, are the people who who do all homework, uh, who who have um, good not notice, um, yeah, good grades, okay. <laughs> and, and bad students, uh, maybe it's people who don't like study, um, who are bored, uh, who are boring in class, in classroom, boring. Not boring. Um, so, doo -doo -doo. let's look at boring. That. Yeah. Boring. That is a boring topic. Uh huh. And then to bore. That topic bores me. Um, I am bored. So to okay. be bored. Who are bored? Okay. Who yeah. are bored in classroom? Yeah. And for this reason, uh, they haven't good, uh, good um, qualifications. Can you say? Again, grades. Okay, grades. Okay. Okay. Good. Grades. Yeah. Um, um, and possessive pronoun in front of homework. What possessive pronoun can you oh, put here? Oh, Dave. Dave. There. Homework who don't like infinitive. Two. Or we to to study. Two. Or you can okay, take studying. Okay. To study. Oh, okay. Good. Nicely done. Thank you. Sandra, can you ask me the next question? Okay. Um, are school uniforms good to have? Why or why not? Was it me? You? Uh, I, who should answer? I yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in a, in a way, I think school uniforms are quite good, but if you live in a country where it is not normal, it is quite difficult to introduce them. The reason they are good is that then fashion will not be important for the students, and they can uh, don't have to lose to use lots of money to buy the latest fashion stuff for their attire. I 
uh, in a way, young people are more or less always wearing uniforms. They are more or less dressed in the same way, and only the colors can vary. And uh, but it would be, be better if it just had a normal uh, school uniform. Okay. So f so fashion is not a, a problem. You don't have to buy expensive, fashionable things. Yeah. I'm not sure if I understood that last part of what you said. What were you trying to say in the last thing? I was just uh, trying to say that when you look at how young people are dressed, they are in fact wearing a uniform because they are always using really the same type of clothes. Only their colors are uh, not the same, but the style will be the same. So in fact, it should be quite easy to introduce a sort of a school uniform, but it isn't. I, I live in Denmark, and I don't think it would be possible to introduce school uniforms here. Okay, and so you don't think it would be possible? It'd be really difficult. No. But yeah, I think that's a funny point. So like, they are kind of wearing the same clothes, anyways. Um, yeah, and so that's the same question. So we're about done here. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Any questions or comments? Okay, and let's have Natasha. Can you read the title and read through the idioms? Okay, right. and draw a blank. Mm -hmm. Can you read through all of them? Uh, draw a blank, flunk out, learn something by heart, school of thought. Good. Do you know any of these? No, really no. Can you guess on one? Um, learn by heart. It's uh, maybe when uh, somebody learning, for example, poem or something rules. And uh, in the in this case, people said that uh, they learn by heart. Yeah. So when somebody learns something or memorizes something? Yeah, for, for memorizing it, this, yeah. Yeah, for example, poem. If you learn a poem by heart, you know the whole poem. How would you use it in a sentence, Natasha? OK. Uh, my eldest daughter always, uh, uh, always um, learned uh, by heart all poems uh, because uh, uh, she liked it. I know my eldest daughter always learned. We would say learned poems by heart. Okay, <laughs> it's my common mistake. <laughs> That's okay. So yeah, learn something by heart. We always have the something yeah. in the middle. Um, I had a record like yeah. them. She liked um, them, or she liked to. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And Juanma, um, what about another one of these? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'd like to, to say a sentence with that uh, idiom. Do you know any of the other idioms? Do you know draw a blank or flunk out or school of thought? Uh, uh, I think draw a blank is uh, like you don't have, you don't, you don't learn something clearly. Uh, you, you have ad adopt. Mm, you're close. It is. It's not accurate though. Um, who can help him withdraw a blank? Anybody? When you don't remember anything. Remember. Yeah, when you don't remember something, or when you can't remember something, you're drawing a blank. Does that make sense, Wamba? Yeah. Okay. How would you use it in a sentence? I I made a mistake uh, when the teacher asked me about irregular irregular verbs in English. I draw a blank. 
and uh, he, he was upset with me. Oh no, hopefully he wasn't too upset. Um, past tense. So I draw all draw. the time. I I drew. I drew. Yeah. Good. I drew a blank. And here's a side with me. Okay. Do that though. What about another one of these? Okay. Mm, maybe blank out. But I don't know if it's right. Um, I think it's when you fail at school and you you are kicked out. Yep. Sentence. Mm. After sprayed all the walls, he uh, was lucky out. Mm, you have to fail at school, so it's not. Doing something that would be being kicked out. So when you okay. fail, um, after failed uh, um, the test, he was flagged out. Flunked. Uh, Flunked. Yeah. So after failing the test, he was flunked out. Um, yeah. Good. Ken, what about the next one? A school of thought. And I think it's a kind of a sect of the academic field or artistic field too. A, a what field? A, a artistic. Artist. Yeah, it's kind of like a sect of the academic or artistic fields. Yes. All right. Yeah. Can mm, this is exactly? But can you explain it maybe a little bit more? For example, impressionist is the is the, the school of thought of painting happened in France in the past. Yeah, in the past. Maybe we could say it started in France. And it started in France. And then we'd say Impressionism. Uh, impressionism, yes. Is the school of thought. You could say, like, blank, blank, blank was an Impressionist painter. But, yeah, Impressionism is the school of thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of painting. It's our in France in the past. Yeah, good. That's exactly right. Nice job, Ken. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions here? Right. Okay. And let's have Igor. Can you read the first quotation? Uh, sure. Whatever the cost of our libraries, the price is cheap compared to that of an ignorant nation. Yeah, it's Walter Cronkite. What do you think this means? Uh, I didn't get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's the first part mean? Whatever the cost of our libraries. Uh, uh, it's, it's not a matter of uh, how much it cost? <laughs> I mean, books <laughs> or uh, the price is cheap compared. What does that mean? The price is cheap. Uh, the price is low. Uh -huh. uh, compared, in sequel. Um, in comparison, um, 
when compared to I can't think of a synonym for compared. Does anybody can anybody think of a synonym for compared? Um related? Related. Yeah, like when measured against. Maybe. Ignorant nation. Ignorant means rude. Ignorant that is like uneducated. It's like lacking knowledge. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I got so, it. It makes sense now. Okay. Ignorant. So what's what's it mean? Can you like tell us what it means in your own words? Um, maybe. Um, <laughs> maybe. Uh, so you have to study. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I mean, yeah, you have to study is good. Sarah, maybe can you elaborate a little bit? Can you explain more? Teacher, are you talking to me? Sarah? Yeah. Can you repeat the question because I didn't understand? Can you explain what this quotation means? Where's Chip Compare? Um, that uh, I don't know, teacher. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Mm. Sandra, what about you? Um, I think uh, he wants uh, he wants to say uh, the, uh, this, um, it is not important uh, how much how how much uh, money you have to pay for your for your uh, books uh, libraries, uh, but uh, he want to say uh, the ignorance is more dangerous. Uh, for this re for this reason, uh, is better to 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 pay more. Uh huh. To maybe to pay more. Yeah, for books for education. Yes. I think that's exactly right. So, you know, a library is like a really common metaphor for education, for knowledge. Um, and so he's saying like whatever the cost of you know libraries, education, educating the public, it is a cheap cost, it's a low cost compared to the cost or the price of having an ignorant nation. So if you have an ignorant or uneducated country, it will cost you more than what you invested in books at the beginning. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Does anybody have any questions about this still? Sarah, do you agree or do you disagree? Uh, I agree. Why? Why? Yeah, why? Uh, because... Uh, I think that education is important and uh, if you are uh, and if you are ignorant uh, you can do anything because you don't understand Okay. Well, you you don't understand what you have to do. Nice. 
I think that's good. All right. And let's have Sarah. Can you ask Niels this next question? To whom? To Niels? Sarah? Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Uh, is there a limit to the value of education? Explain. Explain. I think there are some subjects at the universities might be rather special and it's hard to defend all of the subjects they are working with, I suppose. So it's nice to have education, but sometimes I think some subjects would more be like a hobby for the uh, people who are studying them and, and working with them. Nice. I didn't hear right at the beginning of what you said. I think there are... There are... Uh, it, I think it's quite difficult to defend all the subjects. And there were, I, I think I, I said, I think there are subjects which are difficult to uh, defend. The existence of, I must say. Okay. So you know, sometimes the education goes too far, and then it like. Yeah, and they are too special, and only for people. They could be all right if they could do it in their own uh, time as a hobby, and it is uh, not something which is worthwhile really to pay people to work with. Okay. Yeah. So there is a certain extent to where it's not useful anymore. Or yeah. Maybe it's just kind of like a hobby. Okay, good. Natasha, can you read the next quotation? Okay. Uh, Spoon-feeding in the long run teaches us, uh, us nothing but, us nothing but uh, the shape of the spoon. Forster. Yeah, Ian Forster. Yeah, E M Foster. What do you think that means, Natasha? Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if uh, <laughs> uh, I, I I will be maddened, but maybe in this case, uh, uh, the author of uh, this uh, question uh, said that. It really doesn't matter uh, what um, uh, what uh, uh, one, one moment uh, 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 maybe uh, how many uh, people uh, obtain education? I mean uh, uh, a level of uh, education and uh, maybe. Um, a time of uh, obtaining the education, but uh, the uh, the the main reason, and uh, uh, I mean that uh, maybe uh, only uh, quality of this education is uh, more uh, uh, more. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I can't say about it. Um, uh, yes, uh, maybe people have, have to do uh, focus on uh, quality of education. Maybe so. Yes, have to focus on quality of education. Okay. So the quality of the education is really important. He's definitely saying that. Um, one, Mark, can you? Be a little bit more. Can you be a little bit more direct about the meaning of the idea of spoon feeding and teaching us about the shape of the spoon? What's he mean by that? Can you be more specific? Okay, I think that the sentence means that uh, if you always are helped by people to solve your problems, uh, you will never uh, learn about uh, solve your problems by yourself. So I think you should uh, start to to learn uh, and to be resolutive uh, in your days uh, to solve your problems. I think... And be what? 
Uh, so you should so start to learn and be blank to solve your problems. Resources. Resources. Resourceful. 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 Uh, to solve your problems by yourself. Yeah, I think that's what he's talking about for sure. So this idea of, you know, people, if you're always helped by people to solve your problems, you will never learn how to solve the problems by yourself. Um, yeah. It, it's perfect. Um, do you think you could explain the spoons? Sorry? Could you explain what what he's talking about? Where What? What does spoons mean? Why is he talking about spoons? A spoon is uh, the help that you that you have. Spoon. Yeah. So a spoon would be like the help that you have. The help you have, like the way the information or the solution is delivered to you. Yeah, and spoon feeding. What does spoon feeding mean? Does anybody know? This is a little bit more. When you are feeding a young child you will, with a spoon, you are just spoon feeding the child. Mm -hmm. Spoon feed the child. And so it's used in a lot of ways when you are getting something easily. So whenever something comes to you easily, you're being spoon-fed. So somebody's helping you, they're holding your hand, they're not letting you do it by yourself. So he's saying, you need to do it by yourself. So spoon-feeding only teaches you the shape of the spoon, you know. You don't actually learn anything. That's like Juan Ma is saying, you just, you learn how to rely on other people. You learn the shape of the spoon. Yeah. This is good. Does anybody have any questions or comments here? I think it's true, you know. Uh, teacher's job is not only teaching their knowledge, but also uh, how, you know, to teach how to think or how to, how can I say, uh, manage that knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, Not te good teacher, uh, you know, urge a student to think by themselves, their service. Mm. Yeah, really nicely done. Good grammar, too. Thank you. OK. Any other questions or comments? Okay, I think we've pretty much exhausted that. Let's um, uh, okay. Judetha, can you read Calvin? And Ken, can you read Mrs. Wormwood? Miss Wormwood. Okay. Uh, you have a correction, Calvin. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. 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 Hold on. What assurance do I have that this education is adequately preparing me for the 21st century? I am getting the skills I need to effectively compete in a in a though global economy. I want a high-paying job when I get out of here. I want opportunity. In that case, young man. I suggest you start working harder. What you get out of school depends on what you put into it. Oh, then forget it. <laughs> Good. Uh, let's look at adequately. Adequately. And 21st? 20, 21st. Effectively? Effectively. Effectively. Effectively? Yeah, uh, effectively. 
Uh, tough. Tough. Mm -hmm. Tough. Yeah. And other than that, you guys did a really good job. And Igor, what's happening in this comic? Uh, the teacher uh, ask, asks uh, the people, uh, uh, does he have a, a question? <laughs> And he wants to get a high paying job when he get out from school. Uh, uh, then she said to study hard if he wants it. What's the and what's his conclusion? Um. <laughs> Does he decide? I already. <laughs> uh, he decided to not ask any questions. Yeah, he decides not to ask questions. He decides to give up, expecting. Maybe a good job. Um, he doesn't want to try in school, um, so he's like, "Nah, well, forget it. I don't want to. I don't want a good job when I get out of here. I don't want opportunity. I don't really care. I don't want to work that hard." But he's young. Maybe later he will understand <laughs> something. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, all right. Does anybody have any questions about this comic? Still having the stick? What do you mean, Julieta? I mean, it's a teacher. Oh, she yeah. Has the stick. <laughs> yeah. It's a pointer, maybe we could say. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, it's a pointer and not like a, a whip. She seems pretty nice, although Calvin is exasperating sometimes. Um, okay, well, yeah. Thank you guys for coming to class. It was good to meet you, Sarah and Igor. Sandra. Sorry. Um, everybody <laughs> else, good to see you guys again. Yeah. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you.